This is uh, Father Todd from St. Mary's, and uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to give you just a little bit of an update about how we're going, how we're doing with this whole uh, church closure and uh, and the coronavirus around us. I know it's been it's been a, a tremendous uh, a challenge for us, both as a as a body here at St. Mary's uh, and uh, and for each of us uh, individually. So, um, so we are trying to, to figure out what it is that we can do in order to be able to, uh, to work together safely and to do everything that we can to be able to, uh, to, to set a time for us to be able to regather uh, in some ways that are going to be simple at first and then uh, gradually being able to add uh, more people. At this point, um, you know that we've established a re-entry committee, and so all kinds of thanks to Maureen Cotter and that committee. They're doing a great job in trying to monitor uh, the virus progress around here and then to help us to put into place uh, processes and procedures that will allow more and more people to be able to come to campus. Uh, but we do <clears throat> monitor uh, the virus, and if you've been watching the news, you know that here in Southeast Florida, the numbers have been going up uh, because of the numbers of folks who uh, oftentimes it seems like aren't aren't doing the things that our health uh, our health officials have asked us to do so wearing masks and hygiene and self distance and and uh, safe distancing all of those things that are important for us to be able to control the virus and uh, and allow us to be able to regather well for us for right now anyway um, because of the the increased incidence of of the virus around us people who are whose lives um, are being changed because because somebody has contracted the virus uh, that makes uh, our opening uh, even that much more difficult. So the bishop uh, sent out a letter after a series of meetings. I personally had a conversation with him and let him know how much it is that we want to open. We want to be able to get back together again. And yet uh, this past uh, this past week uh, released a statement saying that that church closures. Uh, here in the Diocese of Southeast Florida are, are going to be extended through the month of July. I know that that's, uh, that that's bad news uh, for all of us, even though numbers of us I know are, are in retirement centers or are, are kind of uh, uh, secreted away in places that will continue to uh, allow you to be safe and to know that you're going to continue to be safe. But others I know are, are anxious like we are of being able to gather together and, uh, and sadly for us for right now that's not going to be possible. So I want you to know that we're doing everything possible that we can uh, to, uh, to be able to open as soon as we can in ways that are as safe as we can. And again thank you to, uh, to the reentry committee and Maureen for their, for their great work. And so we'll continue to monitor uh, the, the situation. We'll continue to be able to, to watch, watch the trends and, uh, and get news to you as soon as we can. But we want you to know that, uh, that we're praying for you, thinking of you. Uh, come make sure that you join us online, and, uh, and we'll, see you, uh, we'll see you real soon. Um, if not uh, this week, um, uh, in, in, in the flesh, um, we'll see you online. Uh, God bless.